What's going on everyone? It's the AB678 and today I'm doing an unboxing of the iRomoco helicopter for the iPhone and iPod Touch. So I'm going to go straight into it. So all the devices are shown here, all the iPod generations and all the iPhone generations. So the box, the box simply opens like this. Uh, the user manual, um, fully colour printed and everything all the controls, all the functions and stuff um, the connector for the iPhone, the uh, sensor the helicopter itself and um, one USB charger which charges both the connector and the helicopter but the thing is there's only one of these so you can only charge one at once So that's a bit of a pain but you know so all I need right now is the, the helicopter and the sensor and I don't need anything else for a minute so let me just take you through the helicopter um, it's strong aluminium uh, frame is brilliant I think all the times I've crashed it uh, there's not a scratch even the propellers are really strong um, if anything does go wrong with your iRomoco, you can just head up uh, iRomoco.com and ask them. You could, there's loads of support issues and stuff. They even sell spares pack. They sit, they sell uh, the rotor blades and the propeller, the rear propeller, and yeah. Anything else, you can just send your iRomoco back to them and they'll fix it for you. So uh, yeah, look at the front here. There's two super bright white LEDs. At the back, there's a multicolored LED. This is probably this is mostly used for when you want to fly in the dark, so you know where the helicopter is and everything. Uh, there's all screws. There's hardly any glue. So if you wanted to hack this, which I like doing, uh, then you could you know you could hack this easily. It's all simply uh, screws and everything, so it comes apart really simple. Uh, the 30 pin dock connector. So yeah, I'm just going to show you what the helicopter is like to fly. So this is the test. So now I'm just going to turn the helicopter on, on the side here, with a little switch. When you turn it on, it has to be on a flat surface so the gyro can calibrate. There you go. So now you grab your iPhone or Apple Touch. Go into the iRoboco app that you've downloaded for the App Store for, for free. You connect the dock connector. And there should be a tick showing that it's connected. You can either fly with joysticks or fly with motion control. But I like joysticks, so I'm just going to go with that. So this is the app. Uh, basic controls is for for accelerating or take it off. Uh, you just hit this joystick. Uh, this is the 3D control, so you can left, right, uh, forward, back and this is the trim so if the helicopter was to spin for whatever reason you can just uh, sort it all out like that so yeah so I'm just gonna take off and show you what, it li what it's like really easy to control um, great functionality um, I can land it pretty much anywhere so I'm just gonna land it back onto the table So we're gonna get a soft landing. So it takes a few tries, but you get used to it. Um, it's quite easy to use. It, as I said, you know, practice makes perfect. So, uh, yeah, this is the Aramoco for the iPod and Apple the iPhone and Apple Touch even. So yeah, don't forget to comment, uh, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.